We are uh, talking to the one and only Rachel Bolin, of course, the Skid Row, and Dale Restigini, a uh, famous uh, movie producer and stuff. And we are uh, exploring uh, the Time Bomb video, uh, as we say here in Montreal. Uh, bonjour, gentlemen. Rachel, you co-directed the band's new video, Time Bomb. Why did you want to be involved on the other side of the camera? It was scotty mainly <laughs> so, so if i messed up it was going to be scotty's fault um we were doing a video and uh scotty said man you should try your hand at this you should try directing a video and and uh, he goes you're always kind of coming up with the concepts and i go yeah i guess i, I go i don't know i said I'll, I'll come up with a treatment in which i did for time bomb and then uh I just it was just kind of left at that we uh, we were going to work with a different company that didn't happen and then I just I just kind of thought well you know at least we'll maybe go with somewhat of the concept and then uh, take it from there and then when we first spoke with Dale the coolest thing was that he understood our vision like immediately and to know Dale is once his creative juices get flown you just got to get out of the way man. <laughs> And he, he, it starts going, and I'm a, uh, a lot like that myself. Like my brain will start going and going and going, and so. But still, at this point, I was just like, "Cool, this dude is directing our video." And then it was Dale that said to me, "I, I would like you to collaborate so that you could be part of it." And honestly, it was such a killer learning experience for me because I'm 58 and I've never done anything like this. Right. I, I know how to write a song and, and, you know, I could design stuff, but I've never done anything this technical. And so I just, I learned so much as watching Dale work and, and, you know, <laughs> the funniest part was when like, after we did all the a roll stuff and, and like the, the, um, all the performance and, it was ready for us to each do our own thing. Dale goes, go ahead, direct. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, OK. I got so nervous right at that point. No, no, he, 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 was, he was great. You know, Rachel being a veteran, um, you know, in this game for all these years, uh, sometimes it's natural for a band member or an artist of any kind of genre of music that want to, you know, get on the behind the camera. They have you know they have some depth of understanding on how the process works it's just now communicating the in understanding the the creative aspect the lighting the camera the lenses and whatnot and now he's like not only does he want to you know do the next video but he wants to do like he said dale you're doing buster rhymes video i want to co-direct that one i was like dude you can't just come direct buster i'm, I'm gonna kid you <laughs> <laughs> i was like wait when did i say that <laughs> well, you bring up an interesting point and uh, just talk to me about the creative process because writing a song and putting a song together is one thing but turning it into a visual presentation is 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 a whole other thing was it a easy leap for you to do or was it like oh I got to go study something here. I got to go read something. I got to figure this out. We're all kids of the video age when videos first came into existence, right? Yeah. And, you know, there were some bands that did everything literally. And then some bands that did things like the Cars. They like, well, all their videos never really had anything to do with the song. It was right. just like, what do you call it? They all eye fuckery. <laughs> yeah, eye fuckery. Yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's, a, that's a film school term that you won't hear in film school. Yeah. Okay. Right. There you go. So it's like stuff like that. Uh, but like coming up with the visual, it's almost like uh, an extension of the song in my head and just getting it and trying to get someone to see your vision of, right. uh, and you're the only one that knows it in your head. It was, it was really, really daunting. And then when I, when we, like I said, when we first spoke to Dale and uh, you know, with his experience and everything he's done, I'm like, this guy's going to think I'm an idiot uh, with all this stuff I'm throwing at him. But it was never like that. It was always yeah. like, yeah, I got you. I got it. I got it. I got it. And then you, 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 at one point, I think both of our brains kind of went together and then Dale, okay, here, we're going to do this here and put this light here. And then it, it was like the building of the vision, you know, it was, it was really cool. It was a great yeah. experience. Yeah. We started working on this video with Dale. It was just like, we knew after the first five minutes of being there, just the energy between Dale and his wife and his crew and everything. We knew, and just the set, how the set looked. 
The five of us were getting dressed and we all knew this was going to be awesome, that we were working with special people and that it was going to look badass. And just the way everything went and flowed and it was just like, boom, 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 get it done. But we didn't feel like we were sacrificing anything because, I mean, it was it was I'm not kidding, man. It was only a couple of weeks from talking to Dale the first time to, you know, him saying that's a wrap. Is there a meaning to the video? I mean, is it are we trying to say that there's too much nonsense on TV and we got to change the channel? <laughs> what, what, what does that mean? The video? The idea is kind of a metaphor for like, yeah, change the channel like. If, if you're not happy in the situation you're in, then change it. You know, um, the whole the song is is about someone that's uh, wrestling with their sanity, you know, and from tedium or from whatever it is. And that's why TV, I think, is the best representation for me anyway of just my like watch too much and it gets mind numbing you know it could be the your best friend it could keep you company or it could drive you absolutely crazy so i figured that would have been the coolest way to express it with all this tedious a hamster on a wheel and, and uh, you know just just assembly line stuff and so that, that's basically what the song's about and then we eventually you know break ourselves out of it uh only to run into people that haven't you know, in the hallway and the staircase and all that. And we're the ones that are pushing through it. When you have such a great song like Time Bomb, does it just make it easier to make the video? Yeah, yeah. 100%. <laughs> absolutely. And and what, he, what Rachel was referring to in terms of the energy on set prior to them coming out, I kind of lead my set by example i'm not a i'm not one of these authoritarian dictator directors I, I am just so in the moment and people feed off my passion and my passion is to not only make a great video for me uh from my standpoint being you know such a craftsman and artisan about being a director but also making sure that the band and then the label and management are all happy too so i feed off that that uh that that moment in me to make that happen and my entire crew is sort of synced in with me as far as that goes. So, but right. when they hear a song that that they all resonate with, then they see the band just performing like crazy. I mean, for my very first take on, everybody was was dialed in, right, Rachel? Like they were. Oh like yeah, dialed Absol in. absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And and to to work with someone that you click with so fast, uh, it, it makes things really easy because everybody did. Like all five of us, we immediately clicked with Dale immediately. Wow. And Snake and I were the only guys that spoke with Dale. And when the other three guys got there, it was, it was great because you could tell that no one, cause you know, directors are just like, when you do stuff, you could get a director for a video that ego is bigger than all five guys in the band. Same with the producer of a record, you know, right. or and same with the artist, but there was never, one millisecond of that and we walked in like i said we were fired up as soon as we saw the set and when we were all getting dressed we were all so psyched like so psyched to go out there and start playing wow yeah. pretend playing <laughs> pretend, pretend playing yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, rachel, rachel actually said to me as long as this can be better than any trying video <laughs> <yeah."> <laughs>